poem is entitled, My Soul Lay Down Weary. My soul lay down weary, wishing I could have you near me. Collecting the pieces of noise which dwell in my surroundings and attempting to reconstruct the sound of your voice. In my mind, I walk through the files of memories that you left behind, configuring them like a puzzle which reveals your smile as it fades into the darkness of time. And all that I have left is the knowledge that your beauty exists, the warmth that I found in your kiss, and the faith of the love that I so greatly miss. For nowhere but within your arms do I find complete belonging, thus increasing my longing to be with you once more. My soul lay down weary, wishing that I could feel you and wishing that you could hear me as I cry to infinity from within my depths, looking for strength but finding none left. A million I love yous could never express our moment of bliss and your gift of happiness. Thus, when life desires to take itself, where is my wealth but within you and within the hope that the light of truth will always shine from your I love you? My soul lay down weary looking for the star that I could once see so clearly through the haze of melancholy in the clouds of dreary in the shades of thought and the misty eyes of teary so thus now I am here giving you a piece of my soul to protect and to hold close to your own to comfort you when you are alone until the day when I shall come home that your soul may never be Lay down weary. I like to continue on the same note and on the same groove with another poem known as Just Words. For these, these are just words. True feelings have never been heard. They burn, relentless and unexpressed. They are endless and continuous, but yet remain untold for lack of similes, modifiers, and metaphors. Truisms, unable to be thought because of the loss of untamed creative ideas at midnight, blown away like the wind and gone forever so that they may never see daylight. To remain a mystery that brings men misery, leaving them battered and bruised, drunken and dazed by passion's booze, Unable to hear the parts of their heart which are as yet unused. Thus they are in bondage in sayings and quotations. No one ever able to bring out the fullness of its equation. Which equals something greater than infinity. Something greater than ecstasy. Something greater than one L, one O, one V, and one E. Which equals something greater than eternity. Something so great that many hide it away for fear of weakness and fear of vulnerability. Yet at the same time, attempted to be captured in such writings as jazz, poetry, blues, and R&B. But those, those are just words. True feelings have never been heard. They burn, relentless and unexpressed. Constantly in my chest, always there within the mist, awaiting a time when they can be dealt with. When one can hold another's heart and not be so careless. Thus they exist, overlooked and purposely missed, seen clearly as a threat to those of ignorance. So eminently it shines, its power so divine that it blinds judgment of distance space or time, causing men of sworn standing to change their mind, causing philosophers to leave their philosophies behind, causing old thoughts to be abandoned and the world to be newly and critically re-examined, to find the difference between trust and lust, to 
To speak a word unheard that cannot be pondered upon enough Thus they shall write almanacs and volumes of vocabulary robust Using terminologies of human conduct They shall write books which state how it affects the of some at awakened conscious And they shall never for a moment speak of what binds us Thus their shivish theories shall be crushed and blown away as the dust For those are just, those are just words True feelings have never been heard cause they burn Relentless and unexpressed, always there within my chest Waiting there within the mist and remain untold For lack of similes, modifiers, and metaphors Same mellow groove with another compilation of thought known as Am I Worthy? Am I worthy of planting my seed in your earth? Letting my hands journey up your skirt as I feel your fire quench your thirst? See, I know I'm not the first, <laughs> nah, but I'm the only one that will gyrate you until your body squirts. Liquids like a waterfall or a warm spring as your body calls. Whilst your thoughts scream from the top of the Kilimanjaro. So tell me, girl, am I worthy to enter your soul? What's your favorite motion, conventional or dip and roll? We will find futility in control, creating our fantasies as you hold my back. As your rein and strap Breaking me in like a stallion While you wild So tell me girl Am I worthy of entering your womb? I can be your sun And you could be my moon Through the depths of night Through the break of the morning Through the heat of the afternoon As I lick the bead of sweat that accumulates on the nipple of your breast. This is more than just sex. This is a divine experience, leaving you perplexed at your body's climax, your mind ampex and we caress. This is my way to express nirvana. So tell me, girl, am I worthy to enter the house of God? I know you're longing for something long and hard which will leave you longing as I retreat and faint as I charge. Am I worthy to make you scream my name? Worthy to make you forget your pain? Worthy to chase away your rain? Yeah, you feel that? That's for real, Black. That's me splitting the sky and taking you to a space beyond place and time. And you want to go back, but you can't. Cause I've taken you so far into ecstasy that you can no longer go back. Am I worthy? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for that young poet. The man. Ponder, Shemani Ponder. Right. right.